at Mahindra's Freedom New event where the company showcased their upcoming models such as the Vision T, Vision SXT, Vision X and Vision S. We caught up with R Velu Sami, President Automotive Business Mahindra and Mahindra Limited and Managing Director Mahindra Electric Automobile Limited who spoke to us about what they have set out to do with their global offerings four new concepts that you have introduced today please tell us a little bit about this brand new platform that you have introduced so the new iq uh, the brand new platform is all about removing the compromises that we have been seeing in the compact segment in the compact segment particularly what you see is the cabin space it is a claustrophobic cabin space and second is the second row leg room is not sufficient enough right. and the shoulder room and the head room all of them we want to uh, expand liberate expand it and we took the reference of the uh, 4.4 and 4.5 meter from europe and in a 4 meter car or in a 4.3 meter car we don't want to differentiate we want to keep the same wheel base right. of uh, 2665 mm the reference wheel bases are around 2600 in india if you see in the c segment we have increased by 65 mm that we gave it to the second row right mode and then you saw these form factors of this vehicle it's a very very room here and space here and and all this stuff right um in luggage compartments we cannot compromise it so we gave the best luggage compartment so between luggage compartment and passenger compartment we have put the space that means we have to cut down the space uh, in the front of the vehicle that naturally allies with the suv form factors right. with the bigger tires uh, but then you need to find a solution for the crash uh, performance if you have to get the five star right so that's one thing that we needed so we said uh, euro and cap Australian and cap G and cap all of them we will meet five stars in our simulations we meet okay uh that we have done it with the uh, all the side crashes we have done it with the uni ring concept and oh, what's it uni ring concept uni ring you concept. Yeah, you okay. might have seen sure. it in my presentation yeah. and in the floor we have brought in the uh, the trident twin trident structure right generally the the firewall the sin section is very strong in the okay. middle it is not that strong okay. so when the engine comes and hits it moves it inside right you are not allowed to move inside the firewall the engine cannot come hit and move inside so you see in the middle of the structure in the floor we have put the uh, the ribs that you have seen that we call it as a twin trident structure right so that uh, with that process we got the, the all the crash uh, ratings five star rating simulations and such show to us uh that that led to 101 patterns the another thing is such a spacious vehicle right and handling what happens to right and handling and weight uh the weight is against the efficiency against the crash and against the right and handling because the higher the weight and it's, it's you all know that. right um first is we want to make the weight of the vehicle stop hat extremely light so you saw the comparisons uh the the mass to volume ratio is the best for these forecasts that we have seen that we made it using uh, hot stamp uh, boron steels uh, we have used extensively in the body and in the floor uh, platform and, and the firewall we have used it extensively so therefore we get the lightest vehicle that gets the off the mark uh, like a jet uh, we are able to control the weight very high stiff the high strength boron steels are very high stiff cars uh, so that helps us for the crash uh, the other thing is the when you have the light car uh, sitting on it then you have to have the suspension system taking care of this yeah so typically they have a twist beam right you take a rod and twist it and that's how it is observing the undulations uh, it doesn't work in this car uh, it's a primitive technology that people are using it um uh, and then there are technologies to three link suspension four link suspension and five link suspension that's how they do the five link suspensions typically typically go to xcv 700 kind of uh, monocoque yes. vehicles uh the price point is higher and you can afford that but he said come on when we are designing four cars we have the volume and uh, and then we said okay we let's bring in so we saw the european cars three link and the uk cars by four link 
let's bring the filing. When we brought the filing, it gave a phenomenal freedom for us to uh, optimize the complete suspension. And then the then what is the handling is optimized. So you need in the suspension the vertical movement, the side movement, and when you accelerate the vehicle moves forward, and therefore it has to be steady along. Uh, this uh, suspension takes care, but in the vertical you want to bring in the plush ride. Yeah. So we brought a, a Da Vinci Tamper. Uh, we have requested the supplier to do a collaborative innovation. There. Is it an Indian supplier? Uh, it's an European supplier, a uh, US based, European based supplier, okay. but they have both places. Sure. So we went to Europe, we discussed with their R&D team and they said they have an idea to do that one two right. years ago. And now the cars are running with this technology. It's really nice. So, uh, first time it will come into the world uh, with this technology. So the ride is very very plush ride, which you saw in the graph. Right. So that's uh, that, that's all about it. So you solve the crash problems, you solve the ride and grinding problems. Right. You bring in the spacious SUV form. Right. Uh, you bring in the uh, the best in class luggage. Yeah. You bring in the leg rooms. Yeah. And then you bring in a flat floor. The gang width that you have seen, it's the best for the second row gang width. The flat floor allows us to put the battery pack uh, and the front uh, engine compartment, you can put engine or e-motor. So it's a bone electric and bone ice combined together. At a 4.3 meter, uh, this uh, front wheel drive is the best for that vehicles. Uh, you don't require to ride, drive it from the rear land like a 4.7 meter Inglo plot. So that's the summary of the whole innovation behind this. Super. This uh, Vision X, yeah. you know, the more softer one yeah. as compared to these other really yeah, rugged yeah, ones. Yeah, so yeah. tell us a little bit about this, you know, what... That's a cute baby that we wanted <laughs> yeah. to have it, yeah. It's a, the, the same platform. Mm. So we wanted that customer to get all of the benefits. So and, and tell us a little bit about, you know, your vision for the globe because this is obviously going to be going into the global market. Yes. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how... So that is why we compared the compact segment, the global ones yeah. that we have compared it. We think the customers will love it. And when That's do we expect it. to see them on so the So the road? phase one, we are domestic, we are rolling out from the uh, 2027. Right. And uh, afterwards... First half, yeah. second half. <laughs> okay. Tell you the launch dates. Uh, Alright, no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir.